In the NFL, there are hundreds of players that simply can't cut it. This makes an NFL scout's job very difficult, as even the best prospects have a good chance to fail at the pro level. If a top draft pick doesn't perform to the expectations of many, they're often labeled as a bust. Today we'll be talking about the NFL career of Steelers pass rusher Bud Dupree, who overcame the label of draft bust to form one of the best pass rush duos in the NFL alongside TJ Watt. Alvin Dupree Jr. was born on February 12, 1993 in Macon, Georgia. He went to Wilkinson County High School in Irwinton, Georgia, where he played both tight end and defensive end. In his senior season, Dupree had 62 tackles and 10 sacks on defense. Going into college, he was a three-star recruit and received offers from Auburn, Georgia Tech, and Kentucky before signing to the latter. Dupree struggled in his freshman and sophomore seasons, only recording nine sacks across both years, but as a junior, he recorded 61 tackles, nine tackles for loss, seven sacks, and two forced fumbles. As a senior, he came back strong with 74 tackles, 12 and a half tackles for loss, eight sacks, and his first career interception. Heading into the 2015 NFL Draft, Dupree was a projected first rounder as one of the top edge rushers in the class alongside Leonard Williams, Vic Beasley, and Eric Armistead. He was scouted at Kentucky's Pro Day by the Vikings, Bengals, and Steelers before getting selected 22nd overall in the draft by Pittsburgh. With the 22nd pick in the 2015 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Bud Dupree, linebacker, Kentucky. As a rookie, Dupree was set to back up left outside linebacker Arthur Motes. He played in all 16 games, starting four of them, where he recorded four sacks. In 2016, he was named the starter over Motes. He only played in seven games that season due to various injuries, but still beat his sack number from the previous year, getting four and a half. In 2017, the Steelers drafted Wisconsin outside linebacker TJ Watt with the 30th overall selection, becoming the outside linebacker opposite Dupree on the Steelers' defensive line. The pair showed a glimpse of what was to come with Dupree recording 6 sacks and 12 tackles for loss, and Watt recording 7 sacks and 10 tackles for loss. In 2018, Pittsburgh picked up Dupree's 5th year option, showing the faith they had in him despite him not necessarily producing a lot on the field. He had a respectable year, putting up 5.5 sacks, but TJ Watt broke out with 13 sacks and 12 tackles for loss. In 2019, the Steelers defense emerged as one of the top defenses in the league after trading for Minka Fitzpatrick from Miami. The entire defense immediately played better, including both Dupree and Watt, as even during TJ Watt having a Defensive Player of the Year caliber season, Dupree managed to get 11.5 sacks and 16 tackles for loss. The duo combined for 26 sacks and 30 tackles for loss total. After the 2019 season, the Steelers used their franchise tag on Bud Dupree after his breakout campaign. Through 11 games in 2020, he had a solid 8 sacks before tearing his ACL in a Week 12 matchup against the Baltimore Ravens. Bud Dupree's journey in the NFL has been an interesting one to say the least, and he's proved that first impressions should define a player's career. He didn't always show up on the stat sheet, but he ended up becoming a very solid pass rusher and a good compliment to TJ Watt. Bud Dupree is set to be a free agent in the 2021 offseason. The Steelers have a lot of impending free agents, so sadly he might have to find a new home for the 2021 season. If we truly have seen the last of Bud Dupree in Pittsburgh, then I'm sad to see him go, but I wish him nothing but the best in the future. As far as potential landing spots for him, I could see a team like the Titans or the Raiders potentially shelling out a lot of money to give him a good contract. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, this is a new format for me. Um, I'm really excited to try this one out. And please let me know in the comments how you feel about it and what players you want to see me cover in the next two videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.